So I was contemplating whether or not to make this video because the update came out three days ago and the rec center changed a week ago. But here it is. Let me pull up the ship notes. As you can see, rec room update, the four local eyes only edition. There's a new watch, localization, updates to custom shirts, general improvements, and bug fixes. Now I'm only going to be covering the new watch and the updates to custom shirts, but if you read, want to read all of this, I'll leave the ship notes down in the description below. So, new watch. We have been hard at work on a brand new watch navigation experience, and today we're officially starting to roll out the process. Which is, I feel like, completely unnecessary. They should have focused on something else other than the watch. The watch was completely fine, but Rec Room will do whatever they want. The new watch will be in beta, so only a few lucky players will get a glimpse at first. Now I do have the new watch, and I'll be showing it in a little bit. But if you don't have it, then this is why it's in beta, and only a few players will have it first. But stay tuned as we'll be continuing to make improvements and we'll be rolling out to a broader audience very soon. They really need to make improvements, not only to the watch, but they really need to make improvements. Now updates to custom shirts. Starting your own fashion line, custom shirts can now be purchased through your player portfolio, which is great. You no longer need to have your shirt featured. You can just sell it however, wherever, and whenever. Just set your shirt's permissions to everyone to make it available for purchase without needing to be featured. Custom shirts can now also be sold through storefronts. So like when I said everywhere, anywhere, whenever, that's what I meant. It can be in storefronts now. You'll be able to select from all published shirts by the creator slash co-owners of the room when configuring the storefront. The shirt's creator will receive 100% of the earnings. Except the 30% that Rec Room takes from you, of course. So, let's get to the new watch and the updates to custom shirts. So we're back here in Rec Room, and I'm going to open up my watch and see if you spot any differences. Anything? No, because the home stayed the same, but there are some differences. As you can hear... There's a new sound when opening and closing your watch. And there's a new UI for the profile. There's a bottom tab right here, which displays the home button, people, this room, chat, notifications, settings, and your profile, of course. Also in the profile, this little door was already there, but it did not look like this. It only said switch account and quit game. It never had settings, and the UI, of course, didn't look like this either. And as you can hear again, there's another sound. And also, the, the people uh, page, the clubs page, the event page, they all stayed the same. Messages stayed the same, but store changed as well, as you can see. They changed it up. And create the create page has changed as well. You can check your rooms, your events, and your clubs. And you can create a new room, create a new event, and then create a new club with all three of these tabs. You can always do this, but now it's just in the create tab. All easy and handled here. The challenges tab stayed the same. This room stayed the same of course there's always going to be this bar at the bottom of the screen now backpack stayed the same but the maker pin has changed as you can see there's these sounds these i guess like clicking sounds i'm not sure how to describe it but when you go over a square or an option it plays the sound now And that's pretty much it that I've seen from the watch so far. Now let's check out the rec center. Actually, let's check out the custom shirts. I almost forgot. As you can see, you can now sell your custom shirts. And I have a lot of custom shirts. So if you're interested in buying them, then check out my profile, of course, at Javier FML. You can check out my custom shirts and buy them for 1,000 tokens if... I could make them free, then I would, but I don't know. I guess Rec Room doesn't know what the word free is. It's not in the vocabulary. But yeah, there's a lot of shirts that I have. Once again, if you're interested, shout out to Rennie as well. Without him, this wouldn't be possible. And shout out to the shirt printer, Discord. I'll have both of those linked in the description. And of course, the Rec Room Printing uh, Club. Just wanted to shut them out just a little bit. 
and I'm going to show this off a bit well as well. Here's my wife's account. If I go into portfolio, custom avatar items, as you can see, I can just buy the shirt. You can also check out her shirts if you're interested as well. I'm going to be making more shirts as well. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Now let's go into the rec center. So here we are in the rec center. As you can see, all the Halloween decorations were removed. There's no longer any more Halloween decorations and there's no more secret little buttons to push. And the, the teller is no longer there as well. They removed it. And of course, there was new items in the storefront. And they added a custom shirts display right here in the rec center right next to the ink ink door. So you can just check out the shirts if you want. Honestly, they're just overpriced. Once again, if I could make my shirts free, I honestly would. But that's just me though. I would never try to overprice anyone. Just like my audio inventions. I'll also have that link in the description. Just wanted to shout myself out real quick. Now, before I turn around and check out the wall, I want you to guess what items they decided to replace the wall with. Just take a quick guess. I'll let you comment down below your guess. Just a couple seconds now. Now I'm going to turn around and you'll see what items they added. They added spring items in the middle of fall and Easter items. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? I definitely want four different bunny ears. That's 100% what I wanted. And of course, they decided to add a Starbucks because they did not know what other overpriced items to add there. And of course, a reskinned bow, which of course I had to buy, just like the Easter egg glow, even though I got it in Easter. I don't know why they brought this back, but I guess they did the same with the Halloween items. I'm just disappointed that it's spring items <laughs> why <laughs> i get it they brought it back in spring but like right now in fall they should be bringing like turkey items but yeah here's all the items you can just buy them waste your tokens on them just like how i did and they removed the halloween items now a couple days ago this was still here it used to just say out of stock i guess they just didn't remove it uh until now but yeah, that's pretty much it. They basically brought back the rec center, remove all the Halloween stuff, remove the teller, everything, and added spring items and Easter items for no reason. I guess they really wanted some tokens, especially naming their ears a forbidden purple, which is 100% gonna sell. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Custom shirts are now sellable to your portfolio and the storefront. Now, I'm not going to be showing the storefront because it is literally bugged. Just like every update that Rec Room releases, it always breaks the game. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this update. I think it's it's okay, I guess. The only good thing was the custom shirts. They literally did not have to rechange the watch. It was fine as how it was. But yeah, that's pretty much it. See ya.